It's never too early to get uh, stock up on some holiday Danish for a brunch or special occasion. Yeah, never at all too mm, early. Yeah. Never a bad time. So we sent our Sal Rizai up north to find a Wisconsin favorite that has folks here in Illinois driving across the border to get it. Sal, are they putting you to work there? What's going on? Where are you? Doesn't it, doesn't it look like it? Yeah, I'm back in the bakery uh, where all of the hiring and all, I got my apron. Uh, we are at O&H Danish Bakery in Racine, Wisconsin. And I'm standing here next to Eric Olison, which is third generation owner of this place. Eric, thank you for being here. So we are back here where the magic happens. Eric, I want to show people uh, at home and people watching on the stream exactly how this is made. Tell me what's going on here behind you. We've got an assembly line, so much going on. Let's give people a look yeah. into how things are made here. Well, this famous Kringle. So it takes three days to bake a Kringle for us. And over the course of three days, we're rolling this light, tender, flaky pastry down very thin. This is the final step of the dough operation before it becomes a Kringle. The, the dough is rolled real thin on the far end, and you can't see it from our vantage point. But then the fillings are inserted and the fold over the top of the filling. So the, this filling, it looks like it's an almond filling we're running here, and uh, it is now formed into the oval shape. And it's going to rest, and then we'll bake it for about 20 minutes, and it's going to end up this light, tender, flaky pastry. That's incredible. Incredible, and I think it's important to note here, 7,000 of these are made in a one day here, Brad and Audrina. It takes three days for one Kringle to go from start to finish. And then Eric, we have uh, Lou, our photographer, showing us what we go to next. So we have these ovens. You mentioned 80 Kringles go in here at a time for about 20 minutes or so. See them pulling them out right now. That's I wish right. you guys could smell how amazing it smells here in this bakery. They're pulling them out now. And Eric, you mentioned these will cool off and then they'll get frosted. That's right. So we're baking for about 22 minutes, 80 Kringle at a time, light, tender, flaky, golden brown, let them cool. And then we'll put a nice creamy icing over the top. We let that icing set and then we package it up really meticulously so it arrives wherever you're taking it, to your kitchen, to your home, to a guest, to mail order. Which is Let's really... talk about that. All Let's right. talk about the mail order because you guys send these out not only in Wisconsin, across the country, but across the world. Yes, we're shipping Kringle really to every part of the world, mostly right here in the United States, but they are going all over it. We have a really sturdy packaging process and we guarantee satisfaction of every single Kringle. You know, so it's going to rise and be enjoyed immensely by whoever's uh, eating it. Kringle is a sharing pastry. It is an opportunity to share with those you love and respect. And I do want to mention uh, how much work goes into this and how much uh, your family has put into this, Eric. You guys have been around for a very long time, since 1949, uh, immigrated uh, from Denmark, your family, and you guys have started this operation that has become so massive. This is one of five locations uh, in Wisconsin, and as we know, Kringles are very famous across the country and started right here in Racine. Yes, it has. My grandfather immigrated from Denmark and, and we're celebrating our 75th anniversary next year. Uh, I'm a third generation owner. My children are in the business. Uh, it's, it's a passion for us and we love to serve great quality product. We're so focused on quality. Every single person here is just as focused as we are. So it's not just every rack of Kringle that's baked well, it's every Kringle, every slice of every Kringle. That's our goal. And it's amazing. They have 350 employees uh, for this bakery alone. And I just want to leave you guys with a couple of shots uh, of everybody hard at work here. And I do want to mention Showcase on the Food Network's Best of Program, the Kringle named Best Bakery Item, also in Trader Joe's Annual Customer Choice Award, also the New York Times 2019 Holiday Gift Guide. These Kringles just really known around the country, around the world. Brad and Audrina, I'm told most people get them shipped to the West Coast. They want a taste of that Midwest, of that Danish that is made right here in Wisconsin. You can see things happening right here on the assembly line. We got a chance to make it, got a chance to frost it. And don't worry, we'll be bringing you guys back from this morning. Oh, no.
It's like you want it, but you don't. There's so many holiday yeah, treats. That is, that is a, we're gonna, we're gonna have to have it Monday morning, man. We're gonna just, just go in. Go right in. Asal, yeah. thank you so and much. You really get an idea of like the, how appreciated this is when you see the work that goes into oh. it. Three days of work, everyone working hard there. And they guarantee the quality of every single Kringle. That's good business. I like that rhyme scheme. They do. Uh, all right, Asal, thank you.